This is Keith Berkelhammer and this is Reef Bomb TV. A big key to success with keeping a healthy SPS dominated reef tank is preventing pests such as red bugs and acro eating flatworms from entering a tank. The best way to keep these bad guys from infiltrating is to dip them in something that will kill them and not the coral. I use Bear Advanced Complete Insect Killer. Yep, a garden insecticide. Believe it or not, this product will kill both red bugs and the dreaded acro eating flatworms. This method will work best for frags and not SPS colonies since acro eating flatworm eggs are more likely to be attached to a base of a colony. Unfortunately, the bear dip will not kill the eggs. Here is a step-by-step -step guide to my dipping procedure. First, I acclimate the bags containing the frags in my sump for 15 minutes to equalize the water temperature in the bags. Next, I place the frags in a bucket and slowly add tank water for 20 minutes to acclimate the frags to the tank water. The third step is to cut the frags off of the frag plugs. You want to do this since the frag plug might absorb some of the bare insecticide and legion into the tank. Not a good thing. Additionally, some frags encrust onto frag plugs and it is more likely that eggs will be attached to the encrusted part. Since eggs are immune to the dip, it is wise to cut them off from the base of the coral. After I am finished cutting off the frags, I put on gloves and protective eye gear since bare is hazardous to humans. Prepare the dip by adding 10 cups or 2,370 milliliters of tank water to a second bucket, followed by 100 milliliters of bear. This turns out to a 4% diluted solution of bear. Once the dip is ready, I place the frags in the solution and wait 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes is up, I place the frags in a third bucket with 10 cups of tank water and wait for 15 minutes. I use a turkey baster to blow on the frags to remove any dead or dying pests. You can also use a power head for this purpose. When the 15 minutes is up, I place the frags in a fourth bucket with 10 cups of water and wait another 15 minutes, periodically blowing on the frags with a turkey baster. After this final dip, the frags are ready to be mounted and put into the display. This process has worked for me and I do believe it is safe, however I do need to include this disclaimer. I am not responsible for any harm to you or your reef if you follow these steps, so do this at your own risk. Anyway, as the saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. For additional information on preventing red bugs and acro eating flatworms, please click on this link to read my blog post on the topic. And for more videos like this one, as well as a live HD webcam of my reef tank, please click on this link. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be alerted to new videos on my YouTube channel.